Hey guys, it's Richard here, back with another how-to video. In this video, we will be showing you how to use a pre-cut bumper piece for the Tesla Model Y. At the end of the video, if you like what you saw, don't forget to like, subscribe, and to comment if you have any questions about it. Let's get started. For the front bumper, we will spray it down with water and make sure there is no dirt and dust on the bumper before we install. It is extremely important to have everything clean before applying the PPF, or else you will see everything underneath. What we like to do is spray any possible edge on the bumper just in case there is any loose dirt or rocks hiding inside. We have cleaned the car prior to this, but even so, we want to be safe and not have any dirt or rocks coming out. Once it is all sprayed, we like to squeegee the water off the car and spray it down again before applying the PPF. The next part is much better if you have help, but because we want to show you how to do it by yourself, we decided to do it as one person. What we do is peel the backing off a little and stick the top corner down and squeegee it. We want to make sure it does not peel or fall off as we are working our way towards the other side. We then peel the bottom part of the bumper and tack it down as well. We don't want it touching the ground. Once everything is down on one side, we start peeling the rest while pulling off the backing. If you have help on this part, you can have one person peeling and one person holding the PPF and spraying at the same time. But because we only did it as one person, we now have to lift up the PPF and spray underneath. When doing this, it has the potential to have dirt and dust fall into it. If you want a cleaner and easier time with this, I highly suggest you get an extra pair of hands with this. Once we have everything soapy underneath, we spray the outside so the squeegee can easily glide. We will work in sections for this bumper. Please note that every bumper is different and the way we are tackling this one is specifically for this bumper. We would have a different approach for each vehicle. First, we will align this corner and tack it down. We forgot to separate one of the sensors, so we will take that out right now. Next, we are going to align the tow hook cover area. We need to pull the PPF down slightly, and once it is in place, we squeegee it down. If it starts to pull back a little, you can use alcohol to help keep it in place. Next, we are going to align the sensor beside it. We need to pull the PPF towards the left slightly. Once it is in place, squeegee down the PPF, and if it starts to pull back, spray the sensor with alcohol. Next, we are going to pull the PPF over to the next sensor. We forgot to weed this one out as well, so we will take that out. When aligning the sensor, don't worry about how the middle looks, because we will be fixing it later. The sensor is pulling back a little on us on this, so we're going to use some alcohol to keep it in place. These areas can be a little tricky, because if you pull it too much, or you don't pull it enough, you will be covering the sensor. Next, we will be doing this corner beside the headlight. Align it to the edge of the headlight and squeegee it down. I found a piece of dust in here, so I'm just going to spray it and take it out. Now that we have these five parts tacked down, we will work on the center of the bumper. We start by squeegeeing down the water out of the areas that were not tacked down. Make sure that the PPF is wet when you are squeegeeing. If the water has dried out underneath the PPF, just lift it up a bit and spray more soapy water inside. Now that the middle is done, we will work on the passenger side of the bumper. Notice how the PPF is sticking to the bumper on the side. The water has dried up and we need to re-soak it. Just lift the PPF back up and spray more underneath. We will respray this whole area just to make sure everything is wet again and ready to be squeegeed. We are now going to tack down this section of the bumper just to hold it in place while we align the next sensor. We sprayed some alcohol in this area to make sure it stays in place while we work on the other sections.
We are going to align the fog light area now and squeegee from the middle towards it. Make sure that the water has not dried out and spray more if needed. Notice how everything kind of fell into place. Work your way towards the end of the bumper. We are going to relift the headlight area just to readjust it a little. Now that we have sprayed more water in, all the water has fallen towards the center of the bumper. Remember to squeegee this all out or else you'll have water bubbles in the middle of the bumper. We steamed the PPF just to shrink it a little because when we lifted the headlight area, we stretched it a bit. We're going to run my squeegee over the bumper again just to make sure that we got all the water out. Now, we are going to work towards the end of the bumper and align the edge. Next, we go towards the headlight area and squeegee all the water out. We will then re-soak the PPF and align the sensor and spray some alcohol to make sure it stays down. Once it is done, we will squeegee all the remaining water out. Now, we will align the corner of the fog light area and pull the PPF down towards the end of the bumper to make sure that everything lines up. We steam it to make sure that the PPF shrinks back to fit properly. Remember to respray the PPF so that it is lubricated. Now that the corner is in place, we will squeegee the rest of the PPF down and make sure there are no bubbles. If you notice the PPF popping back up, spray some alcohol in it and squeegee it down. This should get it to stay in place. Once completed, we run the steamer along the edges to see if anything lifts and to help seal the edges. We are changing tools to this pink squeegee just because we were waiting for this to arrive and it just did. We will be doing reviews on the different squeegees as well and which ones we like to use for different applications. So because this has been sitting here for a little, the water has dried out and we have to respray it. Align the film to the vented area and then work from the middle of the bumper out. Once you work closer to the vented area, you want to spray alcohol in there to help hold it in place or else it will keep popping up. Squeegee the recessed area and once it is down, squeegee the rest of the water out of the other areas. Always squeegee away from where you have squeegeed previously. Next, we will work towards the mouth of the bumper. Squeegee out the water from the vented area towards the mouth. For the bottom, we like to spray alcohol so that it stays in place when we squeegee it. Notice how there are a few areas lifting. Spray it down with water and squeegee it down. We are now done this half of the bumper and we will move on to the other half. We are spraying the outside of the PPF just to reduce the amount of static that it might create when lifting the film. Now we will lift the PPF and make sure we are able to get water where it has dried out. Align the end of the bumper just like we did on the other side. In ours, we noticed we had a few dry spots, so we're going to lift it up and spray water in there. We are now going to work our way from the middle outwards and make sure we don't leave any bubbles. Next step is to align the sensor above the fog light. Once that is aligned, squeegee the water out. When that area is done, we will go back to the end of the bumper and lift it for realignment. 
Once we get that down, we are going to work on the sensor. Our other sensor went slightly out of place, so we're going to go back to it and make sure it stays down. We are going to work on the headlight area now. When we respray it, the water drops down to the finished area. Make sure that you respray and re squeegee that area. The fog light is the next area to align. To do that, we will pull the PPF down and towards the back of the bumper. Once all that is down, we are going to work on the area under the fog light. Same as the other side, we will respray the vented area with alcohol and squeegee that down. Once that is down, we will work on the rest. Next, we will finish off the middle of the bumper. This area we will squeegee down towards the mouth area. We used alcohol to help hold it in place. This is how the area looks right now. One side complete and the other not. We will finish off the mouth area now. Don't forget to respray as it could be dried out by now. We used a steamer on this so that it would shrink any stretched areas. Just like the other side, we resprayed this with alcohol and squeegeed everything out. We then steamed the edges to make sure nothing would lift. We will finish off the top section of the bumper by steaming off the driver's side and finishing the top of the bumper. Once the hood is open, we spray the top of the bumper and mist the alcohol on it to seal it. When everything is down, run the steamer along the edge of it. For the tow hook cover, we have a small circle for it, and all you really need to do is spray water, mist the alcohol, and squeegee. Place the middle piece down and align it to one side. We did the passenger side first. For something like this, we align the PPF to each other so that there's a as little of a gap as possible. Once that's down, we finish off the corner and everything else falls into place. We are now going to move to the other side and do the exact same thing. Align the PPF to each other and squeegee down to the corner. Now everything else is just squeegeeing. We did mist a bit of alcohol on the edges to help it stick better. This is how the bumper looks when it's completed. I can't even tell the film is on there. Can you? Check out our website for more information, aftercare, and more. You can buy pre-cuts, rolls, and tools under our products tab. If you liked what you saw, please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more videos. If you have any questions about the video, please feel free to comment. Thank you for watching.